Alrighty, today what we're going to do is we're going to do a demonstration on how to use a simple tracker to fly your rocket and find it. And uh, so basically all we have to do is, this is a SS Patriot that we showed in a previous video. And on this side we have the tracker board and on this side we have a single cell lithium ion. This board doesn't have a switch or anything, um, so we just plug it together. And then we like to put a piece of tape on the connection so that it doesn't come apart. And then just jam this into the nose cone. And on this particular design we use a snap ring to hold the nose cone together. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. And make sure it's all the way in. Alright, and then we'll put the rocket together. And usually what I do before I go put it on the rail or rod or anything is I'll turn the handheld unit on. Let it start up so that it can be tracking satellites while we're getting ready to fly here. Just set it right there for now. And now we have our flight card and our rocket, so we're going to go stick it on the rail and send it off. See if we can track it back down. Okay, we have our rocket on the rail over here, and uh, now we're getting ready to fly it, so we're going to put an antenna on this. And you can use different antennas. Uh, basically, we have a three-element Yagi, a seven-element Yagi. Uh, but this rocket's not going to go that far away, so we're just going to use the regular uh, monopole antenna here. And we'll just screw it into place and we'll be ready to go. Also, I don't know if you can see it on this, but we have a good lock on both the handheld unit here. And we're seeing six satellites. And then we have a good lock on the rocket. Looks like about eight satellites, nine satellites. Um, right now the rocket's over there on the launch pad about 140 feet away, so we'll go over and see if we can get the guy to push the button for us. Alright, bat 10 going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition! Oh man, where'd it go? Puffed, coming over. Should get an event. Yeah, you got an event. You got it? We're good. That rocket should have gone about 2,500 feet, 500 miles an hour. It's coming down. We can see here that we're getting signals from it. Every time it receives, it gives us the RSSI right here for the signal strength. Usually takes it a couple of minutes to get down, so the arrow's pointing in the direction it went. I don't know if you can see it all now, but okay. We know the rocket's down now, and uh, we're not receiving a signal anymore because it might be behind some some dirt or something over there. But basically, what this is telling us is it's about 2,400 feet away that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably walk a couple thousand feet that way and then we'll see where we are from there and continue to track to it. So here we go. Well basically what we've done is we we don't know where the rocket landed to prove that this works. Um, we've walked a couple thousand feet from the launch site out here right now the tracker is telling us that it's about 500 feet out in front of us somewhere out here. And usually what I do is I'll walk quite a ways towards the rocket and then I'll stop and use this, you know, like kind of like a real compass and get a good direction and then just keep on walking that way. So here we go. from it right now and we as you can see found it
So, good news. You can take it back and fly it again. Just that simple. So you should need to get you a simple tracker from Apogee Components. How's that? Great.